Hello and welcome to the fifth build video for the 1-1000 scale Enterprise Refit by Polar Lights. I'm going to do some airbrushing here. And I have decided to uh, do the warp cells as black on both sides so that um, this would be like in the, the it's non-warp mode, you know, when it's just like an in, in impulse mode because these things look kind of dumb. Even if you do like uh, clear blue, it, you're still going to see these tabs inside, so it doesn't look really nice. So that's why I'm just not going to bother. So we get my mask on, and I will paint these pieces. And so I have masked off the inside here, so I'm just going to be just do black. And I'm using Mr. Color 33 flat black lacquer. So, here we go. Okay, now for these parts, I, what I want to do is add a little bit of 81 russet. Uh, it's not like a pure black, like the, the other parts of the nacelles. So what I'm going to do here is just uh, empty the remainder back into the bottle here, the mixing bottle, and add some russet to kind of add a little bit of color to it. So I don't have any rust color. Um, I just decided to uh, just add a little bit of red and see how this looks. Um, Model Master does make uh, rust color, but unfortunately um, I can't get it. I, I looked at Amiami and uh, they are sold out. So let me just add some of this stuff in here. I'm going to need a little bit more than that. Right, maybe that should do it. This black is pretty darn black, right? So I might take a bit to uh, change it from black to kind of like a rustish color. So let me just stir this up. And it might need a little bit more, actually, than what I put in there. Although it actually looks kind of nice, but let me just go ahead and pour some in here. Get in there, there. You know, this is, uh, I, I, I think I put too much rust in there. Unfortunately, I kind of screwed things up. I'm going to add some more black now. That's, that's what happens when I, uh, mix paints. I always kind of overdo things, I guess. Kind of screw things up. It's going to take a bit of black to, to re, uh, readjust the color. I think I'm a lot of black actually. I'm having a brand new one now in the drawer. So I'm removing the masking tape and uh, going to apply masking tape to the black area for painting the white. This looks pretty nice. Yeah, looks nice. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, take it off the other nacelle as well. Okay, so what I'm doing is just uh, firmly placing this stuff into the, the cracks here and uh, pushing it in here. And then I'll come in with an X-Acto knife and cut it all away. Just kind of reusing this tape here.
there. Okay. Okay, now it's time to start painting the body. I'm going to use a rattle can. This is TS26 Pure White. This is a gloss. And in case you didn't see the first video yet, um, to get the pearlescent, you use TS45 Pearl White. Now it says right here, it says use in conjunction with TS26. Pure White for goes on first, then Pearl White goes on top of that. So this is kind of like a... Uh, like a translucent kind of a white. It's not a pure white, so that's what pure white is for. So, I'm kind of anxious. This is fun. Okay, let's get started. I haven't used a rattle can like this to paint for quite a while, so I'm used to using my airbrush. <laughs> okay, speaking of airbrushes, let's uh, blow off some of the this is going to dust to be blown up. Okay. Guess I'm ready to start now. Gotta do uh, light applications each time. Okay, so now I guess I can revisit some of these pieces now. They're uh, pretty much dry already. Okay, this doesn't look, look good. I got uh, a bit of overspray on top, incidentally. That's uh, unfortunate. 
Um, I'm just going to have to leave this alone and see how it dries and maybe have to strip it off if necessary. I hope it won't have to come to that, but yeah, that's the downside of using these rattle cans. Um, this bottom part seems okay, I guess. Just not the top. And uh, the top is what is, uh, you know, grabs the people's attention most. So that's not good. Not good at all. Well, my fears were for nothing. It auto-leveled rather well. So I'm okay. I don't have to worry about it. So I guess I can just continue spraying this thing. However, I'm going to do it just one side at a time. That looks nice. So when this dries, I'll flip it over and do the rest of the underside. I almost forgot the impulse engines. That's what I'm doing right now. But um, it doesn't look like it wants to. The paint wants to stay on this. I don't know why. Oh shoot! I just sprayed my. Uh, Dude, that's not, not good at all. Good thing I didn't have anything valuable over there. Okay, let's see how that sticks. Man, I should wipe that down. Oops. It's kind of dark in here. Being irresponsible. Okay, so it has been at least since before Halloween since I've touched this. So um, I had to brush off the dust that had accumulated. So I am ready for the application of TS45 Pearl Light. I've never used this before, so this will be interesting. Now I have warmed it in this uh, warm water here, which I no longer need. It's kind of in a way. Let me move this down here. And I've shaken this up for well over a minute, so the paint should uh, flow pretty well. So let's uh, let's get started here. Wow, that's pretty cool looking. It's very subtle, but it's shiny. And it's sparkly. Let me look at the filters here. Yeah. Alright, let me move this uh, Yamato stuff out of the way. Make sure this doesn't get stuff on it. Alright, here we go. I detect. <laughs> Sensors detect. No dust particles, Captain. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just now, let's get the back here. Or it's possible I just overlooked that dust. It's not so bad though. I'll just uh, let this dry for a bit and then kind of uh, polish it off. All right, let's move on to uh, this cell here. Cool, huh? All right, I'll skip ahead here. Thanks for being bored so far. Okay, my lovelies. Uh, I'm going to end the video here. This uh, pearlescent finish looks pretty nice. It's certainly pearly. It's very shiny. And uh, I'm pretty satisfied with uh, the results so far. So um, in the next video, you're going to see a little bit of more painting. And then uh, decaling, oh my crap. Um, there's a lot of decals, as you already are aware with this model, I'm sure. 
So, uh, anyhow, thanks for watching. And, uh, you have the bridge, number one. I have to go number two. <laughs> Not just kidding. Anyhow, bye.